From day one, when we started measuring it at Pew Research, those who were poorer were less likely to be online than those who are richer. But it's still an important thing to note that three quarters of those who are in relatively poor households are now internet users. So the gaps have persisted in many respects and have been actually um, fairly consistent over the years. The, the percentage point difference between the highest income and the lower income folks in our data have, has been fair, relatively constant over time. But the grand story, of course, is that access has grown and that uh, even those who are in relatively poor households are in uh, a lot better shape now uh, than they were before.